So we're here at the Crab Pot in downtown Seattle, down at the waterfront, and uh, yeah, we're expecting a big feast of crab today. So we have here the Royal Crab Feast. It is over one and a half pounds of Alaskan crab, Verde Alaskan King Crab, Alaskan Dungeness Crab, Snow Crab, wow. Mm. Red jacketed potatoes, fresh corn, andouille sausage, head on shrimp. <laughs> it's also a really great way to take out your stress and, you know, <laughs> anger management, right? I hope the hyper smooth kicks in and, you know, smooths out my banging on the table. Ooh, there we go. Oh my god, it's so good. Yeah, it really is good. Mm. The nice thing about all this too is that there's a little bit of spice, but really all you need is you know a little bit of salt and some butter, yeah. and you're just good. I do like the simplicity of it. And really the simplicity of it means that it's all about the sourcing, because yeah, it's relatively simple. You just boil it, add a little bit of Cajun seasoning. It's essentially all that they did in terms of cooking it. So it's all about sourcing really good products. It's definitely one of the best ways to enjoy crab, I think. It's fun. Ooh, there we go. I got it. I call it working twice for your food. Because first you work to make the money, and then you work to get it out of the shell. But in Seattle, we do have really good crab, like right here. And we also have all the fishing boats come from Alaska and bring the one from there. Mm -hmm. There's a big industry here for crabbing. That's why these restaurants here in Seattle on the waterfront are popular because you can get um, more fresh crab here than most places in the USA. Yeah, I did that one. That one is tricky because it's pointy. This thing in total is about as long as my forearm. <laughs> more than that. Really, really good though. I wonder you get in. if in nature anything is able to eat this crab. Humans are crafty, but the rest of nature may need more tools. You know, there's other, um, start watching some of those BBC nature documentaries. There's that one fish that has figured out how to use a rock and it just <laughs> drops it. I think on clams oh, right. and shellfish. Yeah, the more they study them, the more they're realizing that certain fish are actually a lot smarter than we give them credit for. <laughs> Which is, you know, isn't quite so surprising. We don't spend all that much time around live fish. <laughs> In Florida, we had a totally different kind. Oh man, the rock crab. The I like that crab. one, or stone crab. Stone crab was good and easy to get a lot of meat out. Mm -hmm. Definitely a rarity and an expensive um, crab, but it was in season when we were there, so we yeah, could try it. Yeah, it's a seasonal crab. Mm. See, okay, look at, compare the textures here. Yeah, they're different. Very different. Yeah, they look really different. Dungeness and Alaskan. So you guys eat any kind of shellfish like this in Bulgaria? Can I eat the stuff like the crawfish? Yeah. The crow that or whatever that mm -hmm. thing was. Because yeah, our last trip to Bulgaria, I was super impressed with just how much fish and seafood there was. I just wasn't expecting that. Well, we do, we do have a sea. Mm -hmm. It makes me so happy. <laughs> so good. You're like four full crabs right here. And they're big. Yeah. So it really is a crab feast. Yep. You no know, crab was this feeling when there's this much of it. Mm -hmm. You normally don't get that big amount. Seriously, yeah. <laughs> yeah, from that perspective too, like they're pretty generous. Like they give you pretty much the whole crab. Yeah, there's four of them. Now, as long as you can get to it, like it, it is a lot of food. Yeah, wow, look at this thing. We got a whole. Yeah, that's the last one. We it's each have a half. It's many more legs. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like a little alien. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm done. Yeah, right. Oh my god. It's also almost comical that they give you like this whole roll of sourdough to start with. And don't be fooled. Yeah, <laughs> don't I'll, eat too much of that. I'll probably get back to it. <laughs> well, it's we not did much decently. left. So. What did you think? It's it was good. amazing. I've actually never done this before. Awesome. Yeah, so I've always wanted to. So right I'm really on. glad we got to do it today. Thank you very much for coming down and doing yeah. it. I really appreciate it. Thanks here. for having uh, us. The, like the Veridai in there and getting to see the difference. Okay, so what is that? I don't actually know what that so is. So the Veridai is this one right here. 
Okay. So you notice this is your bear die. Your regular snow is more like this right here. So you see the difference oh, in shell okay. quality, yeah, structure, yeah. Uh -huh. and then just in pop. This is the most amazing stuff ever. Mm -hmm. uh, the, oh. the bear die. It's the king of snow, king of snow crabs. Uh, I'm smoking coffee river soft rock. Six and a half ounce portion, so it's a little bit larger than this. Um, Jojo potatoes, uh, tartar sauce, fifteen ninety five. Really cool. good deal. Give it a shot. Tell me what you think. You know, you really can taste the fat in that, and it's a unique uh, kind of unctuousness. It gets you right behind the glands, which you're not going to get in normal salmon. Uh, Cop River salmon is special because of the intense 300-mile wild train of Alaska that make up the Cop River. Um, so the twists and turns and frigid waters and creates a, a really fatty salmon to perform that 300-mile run. Um, so it's an unadulterated run. It's not owned and open to every fishery in the world. Um, it's a controlled and it's uh, something that's really nice to be a part of. And they make such a big deal over the Copper River salmon that Alaska Airlines, I think she has a special salmon uh, airplane. They fly it over to Alaska, pick up some salmon, and a lot of the chefs are waiting at the airport. Yeah, the chef just came and educated us a bit. And he's right, um, the big story here is how much you get for the price. Yeah, it's honestly a good deal, which is surprising because you would think down by the waterfront it would be like a ripoff, it's a tourist trap. But really, like, this was so much food for like a hundred bucks. You know, oh, and again, it's for two people, but you could, I think you could easily add a third person. Like, there was enough food for three people. Yeah. So our dessert is our Copper River salmon. And we've had a lot of the Northwest staples here for lunch. Um, thank you so much to Chef Nick and uh, the Crab Pot for hosting us today. We had a really amazing lunch and hopefully we can do justice with our video and our photos here and encourage you all to come out and visit. I highly recommend you. See you next time.